I have a pretty big haul. It's 45 items of items from two different stores that I'm going to be sharing with you today. All of these things are things that I have sourced for my reselling business to sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, what have you. Let me show you what I got. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I am a part-time reseller on all of the platforms that I just mentioned. And today I'm going to show you what kinds of things I pick up at places like thrift stores and clothes mentor. It's like a uh, consignment type store. I'm going to show you all of the things that I got at those places to try and sell on a variety of reselling platforms. And if you enjoy these kinds of thrift haul videos, definitely make sure to hit that like button. And if it sounds like I'm a little under the weather, like my voice is kind of scratchy, kind of rough, kind of just like bleh, you are correct. I have been the most sick in the year 2024 than I feel like I have ever been. And it's only February. I have gone through bouts of like extreme dizziness. I had that issue with my eye. I had some sort of like respiratory, I don't know, like COVID-y, flu-y type thing just knock me out for a couple weeks. Um, I don't know. There's all sorts of stuff going on. It's really getting to the point of being super annoying. And as you can tell, it has kind of settled into my voice. Believe it or not, this is me like feeling better. <laughs> so I thought I'd sit down and finally film this haul for you of stuff that I sourced like a month ago. And we're gonna start with a thrift store in Peoria. I had never gone there before, but I only picked up two items. There wasn't a lot to choose from, but I was pretty happy about the two items that I got. This first piece, I don't know, I just thought it was so unique. And I haven't done any research to see if it's like a special piece or anything. Um, I just know I haven't seen a Nike piece like this with like the big swoosh right in the middle on the kangaroo pocket. So I'm going to look it up. We'll use some Google Lens and see if it's anything special. It's in a men's size medium. Actually, it might be women's because it says medium and then 10 to 12, which I don't think they do that for men. So this must actually be a women's piece. And the best way for me to find out for sure is to make my husband try it on because he definitely wears a men's medium. And if it looks weird on him, if the you know sleeve length is a little too short, it's probably a women's medium. But it's just a nice pullover in like a really, I don't know, I like this blue. I don't know how to describe the blue, but like an intense blue and then it's color blocked with like a darker navy blue on the sleeve. So, you know, if it's not anything special, I'm going to assume I can get hopefully at least around $35 for this and maybe it is a little bit more special if that's the case then yippee. And I think I paid like three or four dollars for that at this thrift store. The next thing that I got I think I only paid like two dollars for. I also got like I didn't put them here. I put them upstairs in our built-ins, but I got two like really old books, like vintage books that, you know, I just use as decoration around the house. Um, so I think those were like a buck a piece or something. I spent less than $10 at this place. This is a Tommy Bahama size extra large. Um, let's see, just like a quarter zip pullover. I do really well with Tommy Bahama, especially for men. And this kind of thing is so versatile and um, just honestly nice bread and butter type of sale so I'm always gonna pick these kinds of things up if I can find them for pretty cheap and this one I hope will sell for around $35 um there is this like embroidered eagle eagle I feel like it has I know I don't know I don't know my birds guys and I don't remember if Tommy Bahama yeah I was gonna say I thought the Tommy Bahama um, logo was like a type of fish so I don't know what this guy is he's a little extra fancy but um, yeah I'm hoping I can get around 35 for this um, I do like that it's in a bigger size as well this you know maybe it'll sell in the spring as kind of a transitional piece to be honest I probably should have listed it earlier but it is what it is and then believe it or not I went to a clothes mentor and bought stuff for the first time. Like, I think maybe I've been inside of a clothes mentor before, but I've never actually purchased anything from there. I actually went and bought a lot of things, like 43 things to be exact. And that's because this clothes mentor was doing like an 80% off sale. So everything that I got was 80% off and there were some pretty good things. Um, this is the first item. Part of me like wants to try it on because it's my size. It's, I don't know. I'm not a big leopard print girl though. So we'll see. It's equipment, which 
man, oh man, like two or three years ago was just so exciting to find and so popular. It It is not as much anymore, but you know, I paid $3 for this and I think it will sell for at least like 30-ish dollars, hopefully. Um, it is in a size extra small, which doesn't really help its case, but it is also made of 100% silk. Usually, even if things are not like the most exciting brand, if it's made of 100% silk, 100% cashmere, I'm gonna pick those things up because people do seek those materials because they're so lightweight and just easy to wear, they're breathable. Um, so I just went ahead and got that. This is a Free People piece and I left behind so much Free People. I honestly probably only picked up like 5% of the Free People that I saw while I was at Close Mentor because it's super oversaturated and a lot of people just aren't excited about Free People. But I paid $4 for this. They were asking $19.99 originally, so I paid 4 and this is in a size small. Um, I got this particular piece because I just thought it was kind of interesting. I actually did try it on for myself and my husband was like, no. <laughs> and it was like it wasn't a good look for me, so I get it. I just really like these big sleeves. Um, I don't know, I thought it was kind of unique. I thought it would photograph well. I'm always down for a nice mock neck. I just love when the neck comes up really high. I don't know why. It's not like I'm ashamed of my neck or anything, but I don't know, generally speaking, if it's got a nice mock neck on it, I'm all over it. I also passed on 75% of the anthropology that I saw at this clothes mentor. There was a lot. And again, a lot of these things I got, actually I think like most of the things on top, I got because I wanted to try it on and see if it was something that I would you know, wear in my personal closet. So you're gonna see a lot of smaller sized items to begin with because I already tried some of these items on and decided that they're not for me. But this is by the brand Maeve. It's in a size small. Maeve is an anthropology house brand. Again, I just really like the blue on this. I really like the embroidery on the sleeve. I'm probably only gonna be able to get like 25 to 30 bucks for this, but I got it because I was interested in it for myself. And also I thought the price was right. Um, we'll see how that does. I'm gonna assume this is like rayon, maybe linen, ideally linen. But let's see. Also, I don't know if I showed these fun little tassels. Maybe the um, content tag. Oh no, it's right there. Let's see. This is. Oh, it's actually 100% cotton. So none of the things that I guessed, which is fine. I promise I know my materials, but sometimes you make mistakes. Um, this is by Soft which is um, like joie soft and it's in a size small. Again, I did try this on and this I actually really did kind of like on me. I just, I don't really have a use for this kind of thing. So I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Again, I'll probably sell it for like 25 bucks, but um, they were asking $14.99. So I got it for $3 and I think that's fine. I think that's um, a good price to pay for something like that. This is another anthropology piece and this is literally just like by anthropology that's the name of the brand i actually did really like this on me but again it was one of those like but when am i gonna wear this i don't really dress up for work honestly i probably wore this to work like last week or something like everyone at my work just dresses super casually i did actually on monday wear like nice zara trouser pants with like a nice anthropology blouse like a printed blouse tucked in and my students were like whoa like why so fancy like where are you going because people just don't dress like that at my school but anyway um this is in a size extra small i think this is so darling it's little rabbits do you see that it's little rabbits like standing by a tree it's got this um oh what is this word what is this word this stretchy word this stretchy paneling it's gonna come to me as soon as I'm done talking about this, but it's got that on the back, which is nice. Um, and then it's got like a tie for the waist. It's very, very pretty, very beautiful. I just knew I wasn't gonna wear it enough to warrant me keeping it. They were asking $17.99, so what is that? I paid like $3.66 or something like that for this. Um, yeah, I, I think it'll definitely sell for hopefully around that $25 mark. Ooh, that is like slippy slidey. It's like satiny. This I did not try on for myself. It's not my size, um, but it's another leopard print thing. This one um, they wanted $4 for. The brand is ATM. It's in a size large, and 
I did actually look up comps for this because I feel like ATM as a brand is hit or miss. This was a hit from what I could tell. Um, they are made, I believe, of 100% silk. Yes. And they are just like the most luxurious loungewear pants ever. Like I feel like the only thing more luxurious for a loungewear pant is um, like cashmere. Like that's kind of ridiculous, but also, man, it must just be the most comfortable thing ever to just be draped in cashmere on your bottom. But these were beautiful. They're so lightweight. And I don't remember right now, because like I said, this trip was like a month ago, what comps were, but I want to say they were like $50, which is why I was like, okay, for $4, I will get that. I did try this on. I think this is so cute. It just did not look good on me. This is another free people piece. Um, I was so sad that this just wasn't flattering on me. I am a sucker for a unique collar. And like, look at this collar. So the entire collar is knit with like this knit scallop detail and it goes around and I just like how it contrasts so much with the rest of the top. And then the top itself is this like interesting kind of ribbed, um, like half button pullover. I don't know. Like I think this with like a pair of Oxfords and like flare jeans would just be so cute. It's giving such retro, like kind of seventies vibes. I just couldn't pull it off so it will get listed and again I just think it's so 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 cute and adorable another pair of jeans this is the brand Judy blue which I personally have a lot of really good luck with and these are the capri fit in a size 31 waist so lots of really great reasons to pick these up I thought that you know it was a good size um, it's a brand that I've had a lot of luck with and they were asking $17.99 so again I paid like you know a little over 350 on these um, they are distressed as you can see and they are definitely more of like a skinny jean and that capri length and yes I'm in my PJ pants because it is currently 1058 p.m. and I should actually be sleeping but I was like I just I gotta get this filmed so excited about those hoping to sell those for at least $30 Another pair of pants. This is by the brand Jane McLaughlin, and these are brand new with tags. Now, um, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I love this brand because it's stupid expensive retail, um, and I usually have really good luck with it, but especially with their Catalina knit like tops and dresses, which this is not. This is like a slinky. Is this silk too? Let me see. This might actually be silk. So much silk on this trip. No, it's 100% polyester. It's very, like, lightweight and slinky, though. Um, I, you know, with their pants and things that are not made of that Catalina knit, it's a little bit hit or miss, but I thought I would try these out because they were new with tags. They are super lightweight. They're great for, like, the spring or the summer. And they were asking $19.99, so I got them for $4. And I think that's a pretty good price for Jay McLaughlin pants, especially with them being new with tags. And these retailed for a hundred. $78, which, you know, retail doesn't mean anything, um, and there is like a little red slash through it, so they did at some point go on sale, but holy moly. All right, I did try this on as well. It is another anthropology piece. It is by the brand Postmark, I believe, is what this little guy is. I think this tag is one of the cutest label tags to exist in all of clothing, but um, it is a size extra small, and I just thought it was really cute. Look at it. It's like this little crop top, um, but I think it's the Lurex. Like, it's the metallic threading that really just kind of, I don't know, it just was not flattering on me. I think Lurex in general kind of like I don't know. Let me know if you agree. I feel like it kind of cheapens the look a little bit. That's kind of what, you know, sealed the deal for me as far as not getting it. But I still think it's really cute and I love the crop fit of it. I'm hoping to get at least 25 for that. This is another anthropology piece. This was another piece that I was like, oh, I'll just try it on and if I don't like it, I'll just list it. Tiny is the brand and I think this is in like a small or an extra, it's in an extra small. Um, this actually... I'm, now I'm having second thoughts of not keeping it. I think it did. Actually, did I decide on keep? I don't know. It's. I think it's so cute, and I actually felt like it looked a lot like Johnny was. Like I feel like this could definitely be mistaken as a Johnny was piece because you have the beautiful floral embroidery on the front, and then you have this really interesting print on the back and on the sleeves, and it's a nice like tunic length. It's. 
Is it a dress? I don't remember. I, yeah, I think you could wear this as a dress. Like, this would look so cute with a pair of boots. <sighs> Maybe I'll just try it on one more time. It's really cute. Isn't it really cute? Okay, I'm just gonna, like, let me know in the comments below. Like, do you think I should keep, I don't know. Um, this is what? What are you? This is a pair of pants by Athleta in a size 10. You know, I've actually been selling through um, a good amount of Athleta, which is really great. And they ha they were asking $17.99 for these. Um, they are a pair of, like, kind of palazzo pants. You can tell they're pretty high-waisted, and they're just, like, wide through and through. Super lightweight again. And the best thing about Athleta is they do have... Um, the style number on the inside so it's really easy to tell what they are and oh my god I just noticed this because I was like these feel really weird on the side they have like snap buttons on the side so you could do like a tear away but the the snap buttons do not go all the way up the leg it's just if you want more air like more airflow or you want like a like a little flare action or you want I don't know I don't really get the point of the snaps just from the knees down but you know to each their own I'm not gonna judge you if you feel the need to just get a little bit more air on your calves like you do you okay these I am gonna keep and my husband thinks I'm a little ridiculous for it uh, you guys I just thought these were so fun this is Maeve by Anthropology. They are in an extra extra small petite um, if I can get something in a petite size I always do because my legs are so short, but look at how cute. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I just think they're so fun. I mean, I'm going to just wear them at least like once or twice and then I'll probably list them because I don't know that I'll be able to wear them enough to warrant keeping the eye. Just think they're so fun. And also extra, extra small petite is a pretty specific size that will be hard to move online. So like, if I just keep those, those are fine. And $17.99 is what they were asking, so I paid, like, what, $3.66 or something like that for those. This is a pair of Beta brand jeans, actually. Um, they're in a size large petite, and they were asking $19.99, so I got these for $4. Beta brand is a brand that um, became really popular because they created pants that looked, you know, business cap because they created pants that look business casual, you could wear them to the office, but they but you but they felt like yoga pants. Like they were just insanely comfortable, had a lot of give and stretch, like you didn't feel confined or, you know, like you were just being sucked in or like you were just being sucked in the way that you may with other pants. And even though this is more of like a denim fabric, it's look at how much stretch there is. There's still a lot of give. Um, and so some people really fell in love with this brand and remained extremely loyal to it. Um, so I'm hoping I can get at least 30, 35 on these. And they are like a nice wider length. And they are like a nice wider width too. Um, or like a wider leg, which I think definitely helps as well. Oh, this is so pretty. So... I probably tried this on as well, and looking at it, I'm asking myself, so why, why didn't I want to keep it, maybe I did want to keep, maybe I'll just try it on one more time, just to make sure, this is a free people piece, it's a size small, maybe the neck came down to, I don't know, look at how pretty, look, and again with like the big, I'm such a sucker for big billowy sleeves, and it is, like a little bit more, okay, I just, I need to try this on again and make sure, like why didn't I want to keep this? And they were asking $14.99, so I paid like $3 for this. It's, okay, <laughs> like if I'm in that much awe over it when I'm seeing it again, I think that means I need to keep it. Theos is a pair of jeans by Pilcro and the Letterpress by Anthropology. These are in a size 28 petite. There were so many Pilcro jeans, and I left 90% of them behind. I didn't get a lot of them because, generally speaking, they don't really command that high of a price on reselling markets. But the reason why I got these is because I thought they were pretty unique with, like, the seam going down the front, and they're, like, this extreme 
flare. I think if you're getting like skinny jeans or just regular jeans um, from this brand, no one's going to pay you any attention. But because these are so unique and so freaking cool, I was like, yeah, I'll get these. And I'll probably still only get like 35-ish dollars for these, but like look at that flare. This with that like, oh my gosh, this is your outfit right here. It's this and this top with like that collar. You're done. That's it. These they were asking $19.99 for, so I got them for $4. And if I can turn that $4 into a $35, $40 sale, amazing. Um, and if it's a little less than that, I mean, that's not too bad either. This is a top by Eileen Fisher. I did also leave behind a lot of Eileen Fisher. This is in a size large. It's like a netting, like a, I don't know, doesn't it look kind of like like a fishing net that you try to catch fish with. I don't know. But it's like a longer tunic. And the reason I got it is because it is made of 45% linen. I don't know. I feel like someone could wear this as like a swimsuit cover or something like that. I don't really know how you wear something like this. But I was like, I'll just try it out. And they were asking $17.99 for it. I had under $4 into it. Um, and I have sold stuff like this from Eileen Fisher before. Just kind of like that asymmetrical like netting ish fabric yeah so we'll see what happens um this was a pair of faux leather pants from zara and as i look at them right now i'm kind of like okay i was like do i want these but well well maybe i'll try them on <laughs> Did I try these on? I don't know. But they wanted $13.99 for these. So I paid less than $3 for these. They're a great high-waisted, like tapered leg, faux leather pair of pants. I'm gonna I'm gonna try them on. The high waist, I love that. Now if I were to sell them, I think that I could probably get at least $25 for those. But let me just like try them on first, just to I don't think I tried those on actually, so. Let's just see what happens. Um, this is by a brand called Monroe. They do sell this brand on the Revolve website. And I actually found a dress that same weekend while I was in Peoria um, at a local Goodwill. And that dress actually already sold. So it was only listed for like a couple weeks. I think it's like a decently popular brand from the Revolve website. Um, and so I actually looked these up before picking them up because they're literally just like a pair of sweatpants or like a pair of joggers. And they're in kind of this pale pink color. And they have this star made out of like little studs. These actually were going for a decent amount, which is why I ended up picking them up. I don't remember how much they were going for because like I said, oh, there's stars down here too. Like I said, it's been a month since this trip, but they were asking $13.99, which was under $3. So I was like, yep, that, that works for me. What are you? This is another uh, anthropology brand. It is Edme and Esselite. I don't know how to say that second name. Um, and it is just like a really pretty... I would call it a tunic. I do believe this is 100% silk. I'll check. It's in a size 2. I did not try this one on, but I don't think that this kind of like cinched waist and then like leftover fabric on the bottom look, I don't think that's really super flattering on me, and I think that's why I was like, no, nah, I'll just sell it. It is 100% silk. That's one of the main reasons I picked it up, and I just thought it'd be really pretty for like spring and summer, um, and I do really like the delicate buttons on the front as well. I am a sucker for buttons that are covered in the fabric of the piece. I just think it's a really nice touch and just elevates the piece a little bit. Man, I got a good number of jeans, which I feel like I've been selling so many jeans, so I'm here for it. This is a pair of frame jeans. These are the Lehigh Skinny Crop in a size 28 in like a nice lighter wash. Um, they are more of like a skinny jean, which, you know, skinny jeans generally are not moving that well right now, but I did like this little ankle slit at the bottom. And um, there's a lot of nice like give and stretch to these. You know, if I can get like 40, 50 bucks out of these, I'd be really happy. Um, maybe it'll be a little bit less. Maybe it'll, little, maybe it'll be a little bit more. I got to do some research, but um, I just, you know, frame makes some really nice jeans. So I got those and they were asking $22.99. So I had under five bucks into those. I did get a couple pair of shoes. This is a pair of boots by Patagonia. And they're in a size 8. So, I don't know. I just 
thought they were unique in that I don't come across a lot of Patagonia shoes. So I was interested to see how they would do. Um, they're in really good condition. They're like a mixture of leather and suede. And I did look them up. There's like a specific style name. I don't remember what it is. Um, but I just thought they were really cool. They were asking $30.99 for them. So I paid a little over $6. And I believe they were selling for like at least $40 or $50 if I remember correctly. So we'll see how those do. And I just got one other pair of shoes. This is by the brand Eric Michael. These were handmade in Spain. And I do remember looking up comps for these and they were pretty good. They're like these cool espadrilles with a zipper on the top. Um, again, this is like a really super soft um, suede. And these were in a bigger size from what I remember. Oh, no, they're not. They're in a seven and a half. Um, and they were asking $21.99 for them. So I got them for a little over $4. Um, I don't remember exactly what comps look like for these, but they were pretty good, which is why I wanted to try them out. And I feel like espadrilles are such a springy summer shoe. So I thought it was a good season to pick these up. Back to some more clothes. This was, what are you, oh, this is so pretty. Soft surroundings. <laughs> you guys, I'm just like in awe of this. Okay, Soft Surroundings is a um, clothing brand that actually just got bought out, I wanna say by Coldwater Creek. Um, my family and I, we went to like a pretty bougie suburb in Chicago not too long ago, and we were like in the downtown area, and they have a Soft Surroundings brick and mortar store there, and it was so sad because there were just all these signs and the windows being like, everything's gotta go. Like it was one of those sales because um, yeah, they're liquidating, they're shutting, not shutting down, but they're getting bought out by another clothing brand. Um, so I don't know, some people think that Soft Surroundings will be more popular because of that. I think this is such a cool piece. Like some of their pieces, honestly, like I would wear. Um, there's just something so like boho, so like, I don't know, like just so freeing about this piece. Like you just, this person does not take themselves very seriously and I'm here for it. So this is Missy one size, which I think is a lie. I think there are going to be some people who can't wear this. So I think it's kind of a cop out thing to do when you say that something is just one size fits all because it's really not. This is um, made of 100% wool and I'm very tempted to try it on, but I, the truth is I don't need another cardigan because I have so many that I don't wear. But this one is really pretty. I'm just gonna try it on. Okay. Um, next up we have, what are you? Oh, you guys know I have to get at least one Talbot's piece like everywhere I go. Um, and this one I just thought was really darling. It's also in a bigger size. It is Talbot's Plus and the size is just X. It's also new with tags. It's a lot of things. It's a lot of great reasons to pick it up. Um, I really like the little ruffle um, neckline and it's a nice little blue, light blue popover blouse. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, like cotton or something like that. And they were asking $14.99, so I got this for $3. Um, I should be able to sell this for at least $20, $25 easy, especially like I said, with it being new with tags and with it being a bigger size. This is, okay, <laughs> I don't really have the best luck with this brand, but I was like, let me just try it out again because, you know, I got it for like a little under $4 and I don't know, it's like pretty neutral and we'll see. The brand is Wooden Ships. Some people love this brand and go crazy over it. I just take forever to sell it. So I think the key is to just not overprice it. This is like a uh, really soft actually and super lightweight sweater with like two little pockets on the front. I'm pretty sure there's some Angora in the mix here. Let's see what the fabric content is. If, well, maybe it's a mystery because, no, there is a tag in here somewhere. It's on the back of the label. It's acrylic, mohair, and wool. It's just so soft. Like, I wish you could feel how soft it is. And it's in a nice, like, dark, neutral gray color. Again, nice long length. Some people are all about that. And it is in a size extra small. So, not really my style, but I just thought I would 
give wooden ships another shot. Um, this is another pair of jeans, and this is another Pilkrow on the letterpress pair of jeans in a size 27. Again, I left the majority of jeans by this brand behind. I paid $4 for these, and the reason I got them is because, again, they were just kind of unique. They were going to stand out in the photo. It has, like, these two stripes on the side, and it's one velvet strip and then one just kind of, like, ribbony type strip. Um, they are cuffed on the bottom, although they don't have to be and they're more of like a um more of just like a straight leg which i liked i know some people are um really about the straight leg so it's a little bit more modern of a cut it is high-waisted and then i thought that the stripes on the side i just thought they were interesting and they were going to help the um jeans stand out in pictures so we'll see how those do hoping to get at least like 35 for those this is point sewer which is I think it was like more of like a nautical, very preppy line that J. Crew was trying out. I don't know if it's still a thing. I actually just sold a piece by this brand today. Um, but this is in a size small. And again, like you do get kind of like nautical, preppy, just very classic vibes from this. Um, they were asking $12.99, so I paid a little under $3. I believe it's 100% linen. I'll chuck for you in a little bit. And it's just like a classic like popover tunic and it has this trim on the sleeve um, the ring light is washing it out a little bit it's got it on the neckline it's something that you see like 40 50 year old women wearing you know at their lake houses in Maine it's like that sort of thing it's cotton and linen yeah so um, size small I just thought it was a nice piece for the spring um, so hopefully that sells pretty quickly for like 25 ish dollars so I shared this in my last haul video but I've been watching a lot of like fitness youtubers as I try to get healthy again like I have been the sickest that I feel like I have ever been in the year 2024 in the months of January and February um, and it's a little annoying because I feel like I have been very diligent about being on top of my health since around November. Like since November, I've been working out very consistently, like weightlifting, you know, three to four times a week, sometimes more, um, doing cardio. I've been like eating healthier. I've been like drinking my green, um, what is it? Like the green powders. Um, I don't know. I've been doing a lot of things right and yet I was getting so sick. But anyway, I would watch all these fitness YouTubers and a lot of fitness YouTubers are or were at one point sponsored by Gymshark. And I was like, I guess I need to find some Gymshark. I don't know. So um, I was kind of excited when I found this piece. It's not even like it's worth that much, I don't think. But, um, you know, it's, it's one of those brands that some people get really excited about. And it's a men's piece in a size large. They were asking $13.99 for it, so I have a little under $3 into it. If I can move this for like, you know, $20, $25, I'll be happy with that. I'll be happy with, you know, helping somebody add another great piece to their workout wardrobe, helping them be a little healthier. That's cool. Um, this I actually got for my daughter, and... It's in a size extra small. She is super into like tie-dye. She loves the color purple. Um, this is a champion piece. It's a little bit cropped. It's all the things that she loves. It's a size extra small. And she is basically like two to three inches away from being as tall as I am. It is so scary and so weird. She is going to most likely just tower over me by the time she's done growing. Her legs are so long like I'm so jealous looking at her because again I have these short little stumpy legs um her legs are probably already as long as mine and she's just gonna keep growing she eats well she sleeps well like she just does everything right um and even though my jeans are not on her side my husband is like pretty average height especially for like a Korean male um his mother is actually pretty tall especially for a Korean woman so I think that it's within the realm of possibility of, you know, that she'll be pretty tall and that's exciting. So I think she'll really like this. I'm going to put that in a different pile for her. I got this pair of leggings by the brand Carbon 38. I think I heard in a video that this was a good workout brand. I don't remember if I ran comps on these or anything. 
I got them for under $3. They're in this like light blue. They have this interesting situation on the side of the leg. Maybe I should have run comps before I got these. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, under $3 for those. Again, just being a part of someone's like wellness journey in working out and stuff, or even just their lounge wear journey of just having more comfortable things to hang out in at home. Like, I'm okay with that too. This is another free people piece. It's in a size small. I just, I got it because it was so like bold. I really kind of liked this interesting like, I don't know how to explain what this is, like what's going on. It's not mesh. It's not, I don't know, it's like a interesting woven something something. And then the back is open. It's got these long sleeves. We're just going to try it. We're just going to see what happens. It just caught my eye. I paid three bucks for this, so we'll see how that does. This is another free people piece. Is this something I wanted to try on? No, it's not my size. But it is new with tags. It's a size 6. Um, and they were asking $17.99 for these. So I got them for a little under 4 bucks. These are just such a cool, like, boho, western. I don't know. Look at them. Look at, like, all the detail of, like, what the fabric is. And they have kind of that moto seam. Um, I think they're really cool, so we'll see what comes of these. I did not look up comps or anything, but I'm confident I can get at least 25, 30 bucks for those. Next up, we have another free people. This is We Are the Free. I think I did try this on. No, I didn't. It's not my size. If it were my size, I would have wanted to try it on. It's a medium. It's this beautiful, like, pale pink. This is a little bit more like cottage core to me. It's got just like, I don't know, this little, like, lace detail along the side that little trim it's got these little like like look at that i don't know it's the details it's like even at the bottom here it's that oh i don't remember what this is called it was like a 90s is it the lettuce hem but that was so popular like on socks and stuff i remember as a kid wearing those white socks with this little you know trim on it and then i'd have my little mary janes it was it was the vibe it was the thing um, and it's got buttons up the front. It's got that little tie, and um, they were asking $13.99. So I probably won't get more than like $20, $25 for this, but it was so darling. I just had to bring it home, and I'll get that listed. This is an Alice and Olivia piece. Um, I got it because I thought it was really pretty. I like that it's cropped. I like that it's long sleeve. I just think it's... I don't know, I just adored everything about it. $15.99, so I had a little over $3 into that. It's a size medium. I just, I don't know. I love, like, the floral paisley on top of the black. I just thought it was such a bold, beautiful choice. Um, so we'll see how that does. Alice and Olivia, to be honest with you, does not sell for as much as I feel like it should in the resale market, um, and that's okay. That's why I only pick it up if I feel like it's a really pretty piece. This is by the brand Cut Loose. This is definitely more of like a log and look brand. It's meant to just be very like layered, kind of bohemian, very oversized, not sloppy. <laughs> like that's a mean and like derogatory way of describing the aesthetic. I feel like, but kind of um, like, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Yeah, this reminds me of like, do you remember, I think it was 90s, maybe it was 2000s, like, there were those shirts that were like this big, because you're supposed to like stretch them out. This kind of reminds me of that. I don't remember what that like material was. Um, and this isn't extra small, but I don't know, it's a really interesting piece. But this brand does have a following, um, so we're going to see how it does. What is this even made out of? Cotton and tinsel. Cotton and tinsel. Interesting. Made in the USA. I have a pair of pants that I just sold by this brand, um, and they got a lot of attention. They did take a decent amount of time to sell, but um, people were definitely interested in them. I got lots of lowball offers. I got lots of likes and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, hopefully that moves pretty quickly. Oh, these are cute. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is Vintage Brooks Brothers. They're, they're in a size 6. They're made of cotton and lycra. Um, 
so you can see like old Brooks Brothers and these were basically the original version of like the high-waisted pant that is popular today like just the tailoring on this is beautiful I love the cut on the pockets like look at that and then look at like these um, darts and stuff on the back of the pants I bet these are just so flattering and they're in this really cool like almost like dark mustard color I don't know how to explain it and they just taper at the bottom and then oh my gosh they have like stirrups these are so cool they've got these buttons down here like holy moly how much did I pay for these I wish these were my size um, $16.99 so a little bit over um, three dollars and it says that they're size six but I feel like waist wise they would fit me because okay they come up to like my boobs though so that's kind of awkward they're like a little too high-waisted um, but you know oh and then look you guys I'm just like it's like I've never seen these before I don't think I knew though about this these are actually much more of like an equestrian pant than they are like a work pant like I wonder if someone actually wore these to like ride horses in now that I'm seeing all of the things like the syrup the um, you know this little I don't know like I feel like this is here I don't know what this piece is called this panel this like suede panel I feel like this is here to protect the inside of your legs while you're riding the horse because it's like you spread your legs you sit on the horse and then you kinda gotta like squeeze your legs against the horse I have ridden horses like eight times in my life and look at me acting like I am a pro these are just so cool I'm very excited what I was gonna say before I got super distracted by these suede patches what I was gonna say is when you are dealing with vintage pieces which this clearly is it is really important that you take really good measurements and include them in your listing um, whether you like write them out or, you know type them out or whether you <laughs> I did this and said type it out whether you type them out or whether you take pictures of the measurements the way that I do because vintage sizing is very different from the sizing that we use today vintage sizing tends to skew a little bit smaller um, and so even though this says that they're a size six they probably fit more like a four or maybe even a two so what I do when I'm dealing with this kind of stuff is I make sure to put the word vintage in the listing title and I'll put the size that's on the tag in the listing title as well and I'll put it in as like a six you know when I have to put the size in but I always make a point in the description to say these are vintage please check measurements because oftentimes vintage sizing skews smaller and you just want to educate potential buyers so that there are no surprises um we've got another pair of jeans these are some good americans in a plus size 20 these were also brand new with tags and they retail for 149 dollars and they were only asking 22.99 so i paid like four dollars and 40 ish cents maybe like four uh 50 ish um they're the good legs crop so they are a little bit shorter in length they are more obviously of like a skinny jean um they do have a little bit of a slit down here at the ankle but i do love the fact that they're new with tags i love the fact that they are um uh, a bigger size I think that they're going to do really well. I got to get those listed. I'm really excited about all this stuff that I get to list. Like, it's really high quality stuff. Um, this is a pair of Vince, just kind of like career pants, dress pants in a size 8. Um, there was a lot of Vince that I left behind. I do like Vince as a brand. I think it's very high quality. But people just don't get super excited about it. Um, these are made of a wool blend. There's also some viscose and lycra. Um, I don't know if I said they're in a size 8. They were asking $17.99, so I paid a little under 4 bucks for these. And they're nothing super exciting. They're a pair of, you know, black dress pants. But they're pretty lightweight, and for people who need nice pants like these for the office, they can find them in my closet or in my store. Another pair of kind of boring black dress pants. These are Lafayette 148. Um, this is another brand that retails for just a stupid, stupid amount of money. And resell, it's hit or miss. Sometimes you can do really well with this brand, and sometimes you sit on it forever, and it doesn't end up selling for very much. Um, I believe these are made of wool as well. Again, they're kind of just like a standard pair of work pants, um, just some nice slacks, and... 
Let's see what these guys are made of. These are 96% virgin wool and 4% spandex. By the way, um, I feel like I reread the Little House on the Prairie series like once a year. Oh, they're like a nice wide leg though. And um, one of the books is called Farmer Boy and it's about Laura Ingalls's eventual husband, um, Almanzo. And he, when they talk about his childhood, he talks about like, is it called shearing? Shearing? the sheep like so his father owned like really nice high quality sheep and they would like shear the wool off the sheep and they would actually use that wool to like make clothing and I was like what was life back then like it's just so interesting um this is by the brand year of ours I think this is a revolve brand I don't remember but um, I did look up comps. Comps were actually pretty decent. It's like a pretty basic green, somewhat cropped sweatshirt, but it did pretty well for itself um, when I looked up comps. So they were asking $10.99 for this. I got it for basically like a little over $2. And I was like, yeah, I'll try it out. Year of hours. Look it up. See, see what you think. Or let me know if you know anything about it. Um... We've got just a couple things left here. This is another Eileen Fisher piece. This is in a size medium. And these are just a nice pair of pull-on pants. I do feel like that is one of the things that Eileen Fisher is known for is their pull-on pants. Um, and these are just like a viscose nylon polyester blend, but it's that elastic waist. It's the ease of just pulling something on and still looking put together. That is what Eileen Fisher does so well. I mean, look at this fabric. Like, it's just very high quality. You don't look sloppy. You don't look like you're not trying. They still look really nice, but these are going to be so comfortable and easy to wear. So, Eileen, I get it. You're doing the Lord's work here. And then finally, one last pair of Pilcro and the Letterpress jeans. They wanted $19.99 for these, so I paid $4. These are the High Rise Flare in a size 26. Again, they are not just like super basic. They have a little bit of a flare. They have that like raw or like, it's not even a raw hem. It's actually more of like a, if you can see it, it's like an eyelash. Uh, it's like a, I don't know. It's a very um, not raw. <laughs> like it's a very purposeful fray, if you will. It's kind of that eyelash look that you get on some sweaters um, and then it's meant to look kind of like distressed and stuff um, again I would call that maybe more of like a mid-rise but I just thought these were a little bit more unique not just like your basic straight leg jean or your basic um, skinny jeans and if I can get 30 35 bucks for these I'll be happy so that was my haul for the day it was really wonderful going to this clothes mentor after having gone to three different Goodwills because while you can find some amazing pieces at Goodwill, you are sorting through a lot more crap to find the gold versus at a place like Clothes Mentor, um, there's a lot of stuff, but all of it has already been vetted. Someone has already checked these things to make sure that they are on trend, to make sure that they are in good condition, you know, free of like holes and rips and stains. And you know, sometimes things get past them, but it's nothing like Goodwill. And you're not seeing a lot of like Walmart brands or Kohl's brands. I mean, you're seeing things that they have determined are of a high enough quality to be allowed to be sold in their store. So it was just, it felt so luxurious shopping there after being at Goodwill. And I feel like I got some really great pieces. I hope that they continue to have that 80% off sale every time I'm in town for this conference because this conference does generally happen around the same time. And generally speaking, places like Clothes Mentor, Plato's Closet, they all run sales at similar points throughout the year. So I will definitely be back the next time I am in the Peoria area. If you have a clothes mentor in your area, let me know how it does for you. Is that a regular sourcing spot for you because they have a similar, you know, um, because they have similar brands and styles? Um, do they run similar sales or 
do they not really mark their pieces down ever and is it hard for you to shop there? Let me know. I'm genuinely curious. But that was my haul for today. If you enjoyed this style of video, definitely hit that subscribe button. I try to upload at least one to two videos a week just kind of showing you different aspects of my reselling journey. And if you're lucky, you will be able to see these pieces start popping up in future What Sold videos, which is where I share what items have sold for me in that particular week or month. And that way you can see if I actually made as much on these pieces as I thought I would. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate and love you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.